so i just left here where we have drawn this this block now what i want is i want my cat to move across these blocks through these blocks but i don't want my cat to move uh, through these blocks see if i click on this lag and if i move my cat is going through these blocks which i don't want i want my cat to move like this without touching the blocks okay and then i want uh, this cat to move at a at the destination so we need to make a destination also so for making the destination click on the stage go to backdrop and draw a different colored um, point where this cat is reaching the destination so different color i want a different color okay so i just draw box so when this reach uh, when this cat is re reaching over here this cat is going to say that i won or next level okay click on this cat and code so first of all i want that whenever i click on this green flag my cat should start from here so just drag this cat over here because uh, this this is the current position of x and y coordinate so whenever you click on this lag you want this cat to be here which is in motion the current position is in motion so go over here now what do you want you want that whenever this cat is touching this color so it, this cat has to sense the color and we will be having if condition so which is in control first of all forever because every time whenever you play this game this should happen and if block and the condition of sensing we are going to put here so go to sensing and drag touching color here now the color over here is different and over here is different so what you'll do click on this this is the pick color tool and just go your uh, go over here with a mouse pointer and make sure that this small rectangle tiny rectangle is having the same color that you want to capture okay it has captured now if it is touching the color what do you want i want that if this cat is touching the color it should go over here and start again so go to motion and let's test see if this cat is touching the color there it is going back to the starting position so i have to be very careful while i'm moving let me draw this is actually touching this cat so you how do you have to change this click on the backdrop and select the tool select this box and move it a little bit up like this now get back to cat a code and run it see now if this cat reaches the, its home or its destination it should uh, say next level or i1 so this is what we have done up to here again if this cat is sensing the color so this is going to be repeated go to control if sensing color let me first uh, move this cat back over here and now otherwise it will sense the color of the cat as well this way now if this cat is sensing the color it is going to say i won which is in looks if you want to say something just change it to hey i won something like that you whatever you want to give you can do that
yes okay now apart from this uh, i just want that if i reach over here i am going to the next level so how can i do that for that i have to create one more backdrop one more stage so click on this go to backdrop and i'm going to duplicate it right click and duplicate okay and then i'm going to make some changes here let it be uh, this one is going to be larger only this much and i'm going to drag it here or what you can do is make it like this this way and then you are going to uh, change this color also why first let me show this much only code now if this cat is going over here it is going to broadcast a uh, message that i'm going to the next level so for this go to cat and instead of say i won just click drag and put it over it will be deleted it will broadcast a that is an event broadcast broadcasting a message so when a message will be broadcasted or if you receive a message uh, which is a, um, which is an alert or for an order it is something like an order okay so instead of message click on this and new message what is the next message that i'm going to the next level or simply next level next level okay so when this uh, scratch is getting this next level what it should do right now you have to tell that okay right now it won't do anything see next level which i have drawn now i also want that whenever i click on this lag it should uh, should start with the first level so you have to say when clicked looks switch back drop to look over here what is the name you can rename them if you want to just click and give the name level 1 or simply l1 i am giving and this one level 2 or l2 okay now click on this and i want that if i yeah whenever i click on this flag i always start with level 1 so this is how you will go now suppose uh, i am playing this game now i am in level 1 Okay, we have to be very careful. So that will happen as such because I have to tell that if this message is received, it has to go to the next level. So we have to code it. So now I am dragging this down and go to events because this is an event. when a message is broadcasted for example our pa system in school when principal may ma'am say something when she say something you follow that order so this that's an event so when i receive when i receive next level which is the message what it should do it should go to the next backdrop so to go to looks switch backdrop to and now you will choose l2 okay and second thing the cat also should move to this position the starting position so bring it here go to motion and go to right this is how you will do it let's test once again see i am in level 1 when i started with this 
and now okay Okay, so I got my next level have you understood so this is how you have to create levels and I want all of you to create at least three levels make your own maze game choose your own sprite and if you want to create your own sprite you can do so okay you can change the color of this so when you uh, change this color you will go to the next level the same way I have done I guess it will help you and uh, you will do the activity in other otherwise also if you have any doubt you can uh, type in the chat box I'll find out those things and I'll mail you the answers or the I'll reply you through mail okay so happy coding and one more thing please uh, keep your mics off because bandwidth of my internet is also uh, is fine it's what it should be but when uh, everybody is talking, I'm not getting what the others or what are you saying because everybody start talking immediately. So it, instead of talking, first uh, chat, uh, type in the chat box and because uh, when I present the screen, when I show you this software, I'm not able to see your chat box or you in this uh, during that time. So, so you simply have to have to what you have to do is let me tell you see this is my browser and if i want to attend a meeting i'll get a link right i'll send you a link you have to attend that uh, according to the See, this is the link that I have sent you. So you just click on this link. It will open Google Meet. You don't have to do anything. Sometimes there are students who uh, choose a different option or a wrong option with which they used to start their presenting their screen. You just switch off the camera and your mic and then join now. That's it. What you have to do and if you want if i ask you a some uh, certain question you can switch on your mic and then you can answer and then switch off at the same time and if you want to type a question this is the chat box with which you can do it in case you click on this what will happen it will start presenting the screen this way but please don't do that you just have to simply log on nothing you you don't have to do anything else you don't have to turn touch these options these one you don't have to do it you just have to switch off the camera and mics that's it i hope that uh, the next class will go smoothly okay meanwhile thank you bye